Carter Jamison is someone who's been seen with Chief Keef, Kodak Black, Lil Durk, Bobby Shmurda, Summer Rae, Lil Yachty, Steve Will Do It, Cole Bennett, and many other celebrities. But how does he know all these people? Who is Carter Jamison? Well, his website says he's a 19-year-old serial entrepreneur, founder, and CEO of the digital marketing company Gateway Agency. But I think he's a liar. So to understand how this guy has made millions from lying, misleading, and scamming, we have to dig a little bit deeper. Also, I just want to clarify this video isn't necessarily to hate on him and I don't want you guys sending hate his way because that's not really what I'm about. But I do think it's worth bringing awareness to this because this guy and other people like him have made tons of money from deceiving others. So I'm hoping that if nothing else, this video helps people not be so easily deceived. So Carter Jameson recently started getting a ton of attention when people found out he was dating Ali Lottie. If you're not familiar with Ali Lottie, she was the girl that Juice World was dating when he passed. Fans were upset about this when they found out, but not necessarily because she moved on. They were more so upset Set because Carter was wearing a watch that Juice apparently gave Ali, and he posted it on his Instagram story with a Juice World song. He was also wearing one of Juice World's shirts that was apparently a one of one. He was flexing a bag that Ali said Juice had custom made for her, and he was also seen on TikTok showing off Juice World's house and home studio. This understandably upset many fans, and it led to many TikToks about it and a few YouTubers covering it. But personally, I'm pretty uninterested when it comes to YouTube drama like this, so I was pretty uninterested about the situation. That was until I saw a thread by at Zifa on Twitter. In the thread, he basically exposed Carter for being a scammer and running some really shady businesses. After I read that, I checked out his Instagram and I saw him hanging out with all of these rappers and well-known people, which really piqued my interest. I had a lot of questions. How does this kid know all these people? Who is he? Why does he have so many followers? Is he really even a scammer? Well, after I did a little bit of digging, I was able to find out the answers to all of those questions. So Carter Jameson is another one of those social media gurus you see online, but instead of selling you a course, he's selling you popularity. You might notice he has decent engagement and relationships with well-known people. People. You check out his website and it looks very professional, and he even has multiple articles written about him by Forbes, USA Today, The Sun, and more. He's a self-proclaimed digital marketing guru who promises to scale your digital footprint to the largest of its potential. And from what you see on his profile, it looks like he knows what he's doing. At a glance, he seems very successful, the type of guy you might want to learn from or work with. But that is where you're wrong. Everything that makes him look legitimate upon further inspection actually proves his guiltiness. Botted engagement. Before his engagement increased 100 times because of Juice World fans' hate bombing him, he could be seen botting his account, as you can see from all these fake comments. And if that isn't proof enough, here's a picture of him testing out botted engagement on one of his Twitter accounts. And here on his YouTube channel, you can see over a thousand botted comments on one of his YouTube shorts that only has 600 likes. So it's safe to assume that he's botting likes and possibly followers too. Then there's his press. When I first saw on his website that he had a ton of articles featuring him and his business, it really made me think he was legitimate. But when you read the fine print, you can actually see that some of them are paid for. One says featured partner, one says promoted content content, and another even says this story is paid for by an advertiser. Members of the editorial and news staff of the USA Today Network were not involved with the creation of this content. Even though he said himself he's never paid for press, it looks like he has. I get all my press either naturally or someone comes to me and asks me. I've never asked actually uh, just paid outright for him. And if he paid for these three, I'm willing to bet that he paid for the others as well. And this is even more ironic because of the fact that he sells press publication on his gateway agency website. I'll talk about that a little bit more when it comes to his business. And the Forbes article that he linked wasn't even in his favor. Honestly, it kind of made him sound stupid. Finally, there's his followers and his relationships. This is important because when we see someone with a lot of followers, we tend to think they're legitimate. The deception exists because the large follower numbers trick our brains into giving out credibility naturally from the social proof. More followers means more credibility, right? But I don't think Carter's botting his followers or faking his relationships with these people. I think that's all real. And he's achieved it through his business. So Carter's main business, Gateway Giveaways, is doing giveaways with rappers and other influencers. He uses a method called loop giveaways where he partners with popular people to give away items. Carter and probably others will spam DM people with details about the giveaway campaign. They show the estimated growth and how much it'll cost to buy into it. And the reason that someone would want to buy a spot is because when the celebrity announces the giveaway, they have a variety of steps to win. Typically, they'll point you towards another account and then they'll tell you to follow everyone that that account is following. That account will be following all the investors. So in return for their money, they will be receiving thousands of real followers. So when he gets that investor money, he buys the items for the giveaways, flies out to meet the influencer or the rapper, takes some pictures with them to make his Instagram look better, takes pictures for the giveaway, pays the influencer, and keeps a ridiculous amount of money for doing little to nothing. It really is an infinite money glitch. And the giveaways themselves,
themselves aren't necessarily scams. They're not against Instagram's terms of service or anything. And I think he actually does give away the items. He might not, I'm not sure. I have seen people say they haven't gotten their stuff. That might not be true. But we have seen him choose who he partners with using some ethically questionable reasons. It was Asian DeBrat, who was King Vaughn's girlfriend. And whenever he first passed away, obviously she was blowing up. And he's also bragged about partnering with Melly while he's in jail, photoshopping some PS5s onto a picture of him. So his business looks pretty shady. You can also buy into the loop giveaways on his website through his business, Gateway Agency. And his business offers a variety of other overpriced services. For example, you can buy different press packages that offer articles and other sorts of press. Like this Google Knowledge Panel package, which costs $6,500 when you can do it for free yourself. Then in the description, he has the nerve to say, you must have 20 other notable articles already wrote about you to receive this one which is another lie and then he tells you to buy a different press package before purchasing this one when you buy these press packages you're paying thousands of dollars for something that can be done for 100 to 300 dollars which his friend says in an interview as he agrees for anyone listening if you're looking for pr you could essentially get an article written about you in new york times um now the salesman selling it to you that article should be anywhere between one to like 300 bucks but the salesman's going to try and sell it to you for a thousand yeah he sells ad management verification websites billboard advertisements and more and i'm going to take a random shot in the dark here and assume that he does not deliver on all these and if he does it isn't as advertised especially because apparently they only accept payments through cash app which is very sketchy and i guess he also used to sell paid shout outs on his instagram and then just delete them right away after you paid for it which probably didn't really make a difference because most of his instagram followers are either inactive or fake and if none of this convinced you that his business is shady all of the gateway instagram accounts accounts have botted engagement as well. For example, this one has 250,000 followers with under 1,000 likes on their recent post. Or this one with 150,000 followers has a couple thousand likes on each post and then oops, 23 likes, forgot to bot that one. Even if this engagement isn't botted, it's done through the loop giveaways and it goes to show that this so-called social media marketing guru is really just a liar and a fraud who creates an illusion to sell you his overpriced service. Especially since he's targeting a lot of rappers with his giveaways, he'll probably have a lot of wannabe artists following him wanting to grow their fan base so they end up purchasing his garbage service as well. Like I said, I can't confidently say that everything this guy is doing is a scam and I don't have evidence for every single thing I've accused him of. All I can really say is at the very least he's very misleading and he's a liar. But the reason that I believe he is scamming when it comes to the giveaways and the influencer marketing is because he's been caught scamming before. Before Carter brought his scams to the rap community, he was exposed for being one of the masterminds behind Lana Rhodes, Crypto Sis, NFT rug pull, where her, Carter, and some others made off with 1.5 million dollars in ethereum at the beginning of the year lana rhodes who if you don't know is a very popular influencer began promoting her nft project cryptosis there were 6069 awful looking nfts that were being marketed as an investment and investors were promised that this was a long-term project with nfts that were going to grow in value carter even said it himself unlike other pump and dump projects we don't just plan on stopping after minting so we actually have to be able to fund all that stuff they were hyping it up so much to the point where multiple people even got tattoos of the nft and they were reposting it personally i can't imagine knowingly scamming people watching them get tattoos of the nft and reposting it so they minted or released it on january 22nd and the following day they pulled out all of the money which was about 1.5 million dollars worth of ethereum the money was drained out of this account one day post mint 1.6 million dollars was drained out of this this mint for the nfts one day after they sold uh, the collection the reason that they did this is because apparently lana's feelings got hurt by the negativity in the community but obviously this was just an excuse to take the money tons of people in the community talked about this rug pull so it's a pretty well-known scam and somehow carter still has a career and this wasn't the first time that lana had worked with carter hey guys it's lana i've teamed up with gateway giveaways and we're giving away all these great prizes all that you have to do is follow the steps below Right now, Carter has other NFT projects like Billionaire Butterfly Club, which I'm assuming is another attempted pump and dump rug pull type of deal. But in this instance, him and Ali Lottie use Juice World's likeness for a trashy looking NFT, hoping to bring them some attention. But he has one NFT project that is the worst of them all, and it's called Fraternity Apes Party. Yeah, guys, this is the Fraternity Apes Party. Guys, everybody in this is in the highest level frat of the real life. 
Fraternity Apes Party, or FAP for short, is an NFT project where the incentive isn't an investment, but it's that you can go to a cool party with tons of influencers and celebrities, and only holders of the NFT can get in. I doubt any of the people there owned one of these awful looking NFTs. They somehow even got the Nelk boys to show up, but they probably paid them too. And then they acted like they were buds, which clearly wasn't the case. This is fucking my mansion for you. You guys realize that? You guys are fucking savages, man. Metacords, man, I really appreciate you guys. Like, dude, you guys are fucking savages now. I've been watching you guys for like fucking five years now. Yeah. Yeah. No, you mean Dude, for real, you guys are hilarious. They also paid YBN Namir to promote this as if that's gonna help at all either. This is probably one of the worst NFT projects I've ever seen. Like, who thought that this was a good idea? And they even ruin Naruto. He doesn't even wear a mask and they give him a Sharn gun, which just doesn't make any sense. So I'm assuming that this is just another attempted pump and dump with a different marketing strategy. So is Carter Jameson really a scammer? Well, since the thread that I mentioned earlier went live, Carter has privated or deleted some of his Twitters and he had his frat ape friend Luke Lentz take down their podcast episode, making him seem especially guilty. And if he's willing to scam people out of $1.5 million, I'm going to bet that that wasn't the first or last time he scammed someone. He's using rappers and other influencers' names to make him money and make him look good, just so he can funnel potential clients to his shady business. In reality, his business and identity online as a digital marketing professional is all a lie, fabricated by his fake press, fake engagement, and fake lifestyle. The rappers and the other people partnering with him, or more likely their management, should probably look a little bit more into who they're partnering with rather than just looking at the money they're going to receive because then they end up associating with a bunch of scammers which doesn't really make them look good.